Hey y'all, it's Nick from Undefeated Productions and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. In this one, we'll be talking about the move that the Mets made by signing Trevor May. This is the first really kind of big free agent-ish to fall off the board, probably rank the number two relief pitcher until we have more relief pitchers like Brad Hand, you know, Archie Bradley come out. Again, he's behind Liam Hendricks, who's still going to be the best relief pitcher. And, uh, you know, this is a big move for the Mets. This is the third big free agent that we have had signed so far, and I'm going to break it down here. All right, breaking down this deal for my New York Mets. Man, is this an amazing move for the Mets. They signed him to a two-year $15.5 million deal. It is $7.75 million in both 21 and 22 seasons, and he gets $50,000 for each of 60, 65, and 70 appearances he comes in, and 50 k for each 60 and 70 innings he pitches. And I presumably guess those will be uh, those appearance and innings pitch margins will be both for the 2021 and 2022 seasons. I mean, let's just look at Trevor May's numbers the last couple years. Trevor May last year in 2020 pitched to a 3.86 ERA in 23 and a third innings. He pitched in 24 games, 38 strikeouts, and a 1.157 whip. Since 2018, Trevor May's posted a 3.19 ERA, a 1.08 whip, and a 12.2 K per nine. And recently, as as most recent of 2020, his K per nine has been through the roof, and he is going to add to a Mets bullpen that gets a lot of swing and misses to pair with Edwin Diaz in the back end. Now, as outlook, you know, looking in for the entire league, first off, this is already showing a presence. The Mets going out and being aggressive here signifies to the league that they are not messing around. And man, is this a great, great start. It is no JT Real Muto. It's no George Springer. It's no Trevor Bauer. With Steve Cohen's, you know, words that he used in his press conference, he wants to build depth. And it's the moves like this, bringing in Trevor May, that make the championship caliber team. It is the moves. If you look at the postseason teams that we had, the Rays and Dodgers, what did they have strong of? I mean, especially the Rays, they had such a pitching staff. If you want to be competitive in the postseason, you're going to need that to have that dominant pitching staff. The Mets, they already have a fantastic starting rotation. We know DeGrom, you know, back-to-back -back Cy Young Award winner and arguably could be uh, could have been Cy Young Award winner this year. Again, fell behind Bauer and Darvish. You also have, you know, Noah Syndergaard coming off Tommy John, Marcus Stroman, the young David Peterson, and that's just a starting rotation. Seth Lugo can bump up, but to me, signs show me that I want Lugo in the bullpen. And that bullpen is exactly what we're addressing here. The Mets bullpen has been weak the last couple of years. We know they brought in Justin Wilson a couple of years ago. He was an amazing pickup. I look to see the Mets bring him back. They picked up last year, they got Dylan Batances on a very, very player oriented contract with a bunch of opt outs. Again, that is probably one of the more creative things that Brody Van Wagenen has done, and I really respect that. They also went out, traded for Miguel Castro and others. So this trade is really bolstering this bullpen, and I tell you, if you want to be competitive, like I said with the Rays, you're going to have to have that solid, you know, bullpen. And especially with the game of baseball, the way it's turning now, you're, you have to have a strong bullpen. If you don't have a bullpen that is reliable, you know, that can go out and throw you, you know, five innings a game, potentially four innings, you are not going to win games. And that's where the Mets fell short a lot. The Mets starting pitchers last year, they a lot of them, I think in like at least a quarter of their games, they couldn't even get out of like the fourth inning and the Mets bullpen had many many stress innings and ultimately the Mets lost a bunch of games by two runs or less so you know it's a very interesting thing and overall I think the moves that make a team championship caliber it's not the going out and signing Trevor Bauer the Angels you know they made a trade for um, Jose Iglesias which I will be talking about in another video but the moves that like go make a team championship caliber like the Mets want to be is going out getting the Trevor May. It's adding depth. It's you know getting these young pieces to go along with the veteran players like Trevor May that will make it a championship team. I cannot, you know, express how good of a move this is. It's very it's very interesting to see what how this met how the Mets and uh, Sandy Alderson as acting as their GM, president of baseball operation, is going out about doing this. The Mets have been also at the main time been looking for a GM too, and yet they're going out, they're getting out Trevor, they're buying, they're 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 basically going out and making the third free agency move of the off season. You know that's worth mentioning, and you know getting Trevor May, and overall for the rest of the league. I'm looking at it as, you know, the rest of the league. Say I was, you know, like a like a, a Braves fan or something like that. I'm worried. 
The Mets are going out. They're proving that they have the money. They're proving that they're going to be very aggressive this offseason. Trevor May, I don't even think that many, you know, people had Trevor May to the Mets as a very realistic shot. You know, it went over my head. I saw them looking at it. I'm like, oh, yeah, Trevor May's a free agent this year. I think he'd be great with the Mets. What do you know? They pick up Trevor May. You know, he's a solid relief pitcher. And now you pair him in the back end of that bullpen with Edwin Diaz, with potentially Seth Lugo, with Dylan Batances. You know, this bullpen is getting stronger and stronger. Miguel Castro, you'd look in to bring another lefty, potentially Justin Wilson, or if you want to go out and get another top-end reliever, which I think would be a great move on another two-year deal, pick up Brad Hand for, you know, about the same price. You know, I really, really like this move by the Mets. And as a Mets fan, I am ecstatic that we're going out it, it, and like it's it's just beginning of December and we're already making a move that is impacting. We've been in talks. You know, the next day, you know, Trevor May was doing a, a live stream over on Twitch. He watched Giraffe Nick Mark's video on Trevor May over on his stream. You know, he's streaming. And then the, we're getting news that the Mets and James McCann are in, you know, good conversations. Like, the, it, it has never been a better time to be a Mets fan than right now. And our, if, if to say I was far from excited is an understatement. Like, as a Mets fan, I am absolutely ecstatic for this. You're not going to have the Dellen Batanza's crazy hype uh, that you guys did have, you know, last year on Christmas Eve. But again, you guys will have more and more hype as the Mets reel in these bigger free agents and, you know, adding depth and, you know, putting a roster together that will compete. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know what you guys think about Trevor May signing in the comment section below. Hit that like button, subscribe. I know it's a little more weird of a video. I haven't done this in like a month or so. So I'm getting back into it. Don't worry. Better things will happen. The content will be just better. Make sure to come back for more videos and see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.